I'm Real Tune Out Demon. This is Pole Position on the Commodore 64. Right, okay, so this is Pole Position on the Commodore 64. It's a game that, that I've played before. It's an arcade game. It's based on an arcade game. A lot of the stuff was back in the 80s, actually, if I'm brutally honest. A lot of it really was. Um, and, and I just fancy trying it on the, uh, the Commodore 64, see what it's like. So let's just go for it. It's a racing game. You're basically racing against the time. Round lap. We're playing this um, 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 Fuji... Um, Fuji, 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 it's Fuji, isn't it? And why can't I pronounce things today? Fuji Speedway, um, and we're going around there. So we'll, let's give it a try. So let's just go straight into it. Um, I played it recently on the well, recently, I said probably a few months ago actually now um, on the arcade challenge. It wasn't a game that I was um, overly. Over, overly sort of uh, enamoured by when I resaw it. Funny thing is, I remember being good in the day, but but not so good in the in the in the, in in the, in the sort of the the scale of, of of things, you know, nowadays. If that makes sense. So here's our little thing. It doesn't feel very responsive on the road, to be honest with you. Let's get up to high gear. Not as responsive as I remember it being. Nice, nice big chunky graphics. So we've got to overtake the cars. We've basically, got to go around the lap um, before the time runs out. Um, we've got, I think, we're doing four laps of this race. I think that's what it said at the beginning. Let's try not to destroy our car. You've got a high and low gear, which is changed by the gear by by the fire button. Um, and we basically race around in, in in as fast as we can, overtaking cars for extra points. It's very arcadey. I mean, that's exactly what it was based on. It's an arcade game. There's a lot of that stuff in the 80s, and most of it was arcade games that were converted and that was terrible that clash crash detection there was just awful ended up touching that when i wasn't was wasn't wasn't i don't think it was anywhere near it but anyway we're going past him hopefully we'll go past him i've just crashed into him again nowhere near him as far as i could work out there didn't even touch him there we go my starting position is eighth i'm done really badly <laughs> At least I finished the course. And we got a lot of music. I'm not sure. Uh, I hate to say it. I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thing about this. I'm a big believer in. Um. Oh God. I'm a big believer in sort of you know giving games chances and whatever else is. And I'm sure back in the day would have been totally delighted with this. It would have been the the best thing since sliced bread. But don't think. I don't think it's as much fun now, if I'm honest. But we're going round. Making our way through. Oh, what position I was I in? Low gear again, low gear. I don't think there's a position on here. I can't see one. Low gear first. Hi. There was a game years ago. I was very much obsessed with it. It was just a came on a cover cover cassette, and uh, I remember the the game itself was just about racing cars and going around it. And I used to spend ages on it. And the graphics weren't even that that impressive, but the gameplay was really good. Um, and it was just very very sort of simple, and it worked very well. This one just feels very uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like it's turning when it's turning. When it does feel like it's turning, because the, the, the whole the whole vehicle turns, it feels a lot more. You know, it feels okay, but but as I say, it's not. It's not. It doesn't feel very comfortable. To be fair, pole position. If you actually play it today, the original arcade version doesn't feel particularly great either. It does feel very very dated, and which is a which is a terrible um, thing about it. Oh goodness! Hey, wow. doing a lot of crashing into things it reminds me of a Commodore Amiga game I think it's called Zoom or Varoom it was either Zoom or Varoom one of them is very very fast very arcadey sort of thing extremely quick on the on the on the Commodore Amiga I remember really enjoying that game and at that though you would touch things and you just explode like they do on this one you just just absolutely you know blow up on the whole thing Ouch! Wow. Got some bonuses there for passing things. And that's basically it. 
pole position. It's really it. There's not not an awful lot to it. It's just a time-based racing thing, and you just keep on going until you've been around all the tracks, and that's that's the size of it. It's one of those games that um, replaying it, um, even on the arcade, I I didn't enjoy it as much as I remember enjoying it. And I think I rem- I think uh, nostalgia was a definite uh, definite winner in in the, in the case of the, this originally, you know, in the, in, the, in the way it is. So. Um, not the best, and I don't think I don't think the Commodore version is necessarily the best. I'm sure I'm going to get loads of trouble for that because I'm sure there's lots of people who think it's fantastic. But mm, roast tinted so roast tinted glasses for that, I think. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.